This video is to demonstrate the use of high low gauge. By using high low gauge the following can be verified. Internal misalignment, wall thickness, fillet weld leg length, weld cap height or weld reinforcement. Additionally there are two go and no go feature of this case which are used to verify that the bevel angle is 37 and half degree or not and second one is the required gap after fit up is no larger than 330 seconds of an inch or 2.4 mm or can be used to measure the required gap is no lar larger than 1 1/16th of an inch 1.58 mm gap after fit up There are three scales on the gauge the material thickness scale the internal alignment scale and the scale for the scribe lines measurements how to measure internal misalignment gauge should be in zero position turn the gauge 90 degrees and lower the align alignment stops into the root gap turn the gauge back to the original position stop when the tip of the bevel touches the gap loosen the locking screw and lower the extension until the top edge touches the surface of the base metal pull one leg up until the alignment stop touches the interior of the base metal pull the other leg up until the alignment stop touches the interior of the base metal both alignment alignment stops should be in correct with the interior of the parent metal read the measurement from the scale measuring material thickness with a high low gauge by using high low gauge material thickness can also be measured one important consideration when the measuring thickness focus on the side of the joint where the sliding body or the guide is located. This process operates on the principle similar to the vernier caliper. The size will vary based on the jaws opening. Pull the leg of the gauge. Do this on the same side of the parent, parent metal weld joint whose thickness you need to measure. The continue until the alignment stops touches the interior of the base metal. Finally record the readings from the material thickness scale. How to measure the weld cap height weld reinforcement of a butt weld. The gauge should be in zero position, loosen the locking screw and raise the leg that is on the same side of the weld. Position the gauge on the horizontal member so that one foot is on the horizontal member and other is raised above the weld. Lower the resin foot by pushing down gently on the resin alignment st stop, uh, stop until the bottom of the foot touches the top of the weld. Tighten the screw in order to fix the position of scale. Finally record the reading from scale. How to measure leg of a fillet weld? Same step to be followed as described to measure the weld cap height. Gauge should be in zero position, loosen, loosen the locking screw and raise the leg that is on the same side of the weld. Position the gauge on the horizontal member so that one foot is on the horizontal member and the other is raised above the weld. Lower the raisin foot by pushing down gently on the raisin alignment stop until bottom of the foot touches the toe of the weld. Tighten the screw in order to fix the position of a scale. Read the measurement from the scale. How to use high low gauge to verify the fit up root gap. Go no go feature of the gauge which are used to verify root gap. As exhibited in picture the stopper of gauge are passed through the gap to check the required gap after fit up is no larger than 1.58 mm or larger than 2.4 mm 
how to check for 37 and half degree bevel angle to ensure accurate measurement it is essential that the gauge is in the zero position before proceeding begin by turning the gauge perpendicular and carefully lower the alignment stops into the root gap until the top edge of the beveled angle make contact Return the gauge to its original position, then turn the locking screw and gradually lower the sliding body until top edge of the extension touches the surface of the base metal. Lastly, square the shoulders of the beveled angle by adjusting the legs of the gauge accordingly.